In today's video, we are assembling the rear of the Evo 8.
just like that, we are completely done with the front and rear end, all suspension, ball joints, bushings, rotors, brakes, brake shoes, coilovers, everything is officially done, torque to spec, everything. And I mean everything. I know you guys already saw the front, but this is the rear. I hope you guys enjoyed. And again, if you guys have any questions, I know I'm just doing the work. I hope you guys enjoyed that type of video. It will mean the world to me if you guys could let me know down in the comments if you guys enjoy that type of content or do you guys prefer for me to like go in detail and start talking and showing everything. I just think it's a lot quicker and honestly, I just wanted to get this done. It was super hard to record the rear part of this whole assembly and that's where most of the work got done. So sorry if it was like quick and time lapse, but it was really hard to kind of get back there and record everything. But I hope you guys enjoyed the full thing of me putting all of this together. This is looking insane, to be honest. Really, really crazy and insane. I still can't believe, I honestly still can't believe I'm doing this to an Evo. Just the fact that I had an Evo, to me was just like a huge accomplishment. And now being able to do this to one of my Favorite, I think this car is gonna be a keeper forever. To one of my favorite cars and be able to do this, it's just amazing and I really truly hope that you guys are enjoying all of this that I'm doing to this car as much as I am. Real quick, I have to show you guys one thing that helped me out tremendously when it came to assembling, specifically the rear. Huge shout out to Odelphi or Adelphi, sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but they sent out a head strip lamp as you guys can see and this thing saved my life because usually I use my trusty dandy Milwaukee light which works amazing, 10 out of 10, but when I'm working on the car specifically, let me show you guys on the rear, I know that you guys saw me wearing the headband a little bit while I was working on it. It shines perfect, but on the rear, there's no light and I can't see nothing. And then remember, I'm always working by myself in the garage, almost always. And it's really hard. Let me show you guys how cool this headlamp is. Like you just slide it on like this and just look at how bright this thing's gonna be. I know I probably look crazy, but it is insane. You look like a freaking Iron Man, like out of this world. And let me show you guys how much of a difference it makes with this light. This is like I said, without the light, you can't see anything super dark. And then when I turn it on, take a look at how crazy. And the best part is that I don't run over the fender or nothing because it's really tight on my head. 10 out of 10 recommend, not even kidding. I didn't even have to put this in the video, but I just had to show you guys because it honestly did come through. Uh, they sent it out to me and they told me, hey, if you like it, you could promote it in one of your videos. And I actually really did like it. Has a couple of more features, like I could turn on another button and then it's just swipe free. So I don't have to touch it or anything. I could be working underneath the car and then I need to turn it on. You swipe, which is just crazy. It has other little things like a low mode, then it has a actual lamp that you can aim specifically at something sorry if i'm blinding you guys honestly i just wanted to show you guys this product because it just amazed me i'll be putting everything down below in the description if you guys need one of these and you guys are working on your cars check them out i'll put it in the description but we are officially completely done like i said all we have to do is bleed the brakes which you guys are going to see on the next episode I hope this video was valuable to some of you guys. I hope it inspires you guys at the end of the day to get in the garage and work on your cars. That will make me extremely happy. Like always, I'm gonna see you guys on the next episode. It's getting closer and closer. The time that we get to mount the T37s and actually take this car for a test drive. Maybe the next video, let's see. But anyways, take care, like always, keep grinding and I'll see you guys on the next one.